There's a new example script in VRED that allows you to grab objects while you're in VR and move them. So we can find that example here under File, Open Example. In the Examples folder, there is a VR folder. And there is the sample object move.py. When I open that, nothing will change except for in the script editor, we've now populated this example script. Now the main thing to note in the script is this one line. If node get name starts with movable. So this is telling me that this is the only thing you really need to know is that you put the word movable in your scene graph in front of an object and it'll turn it into a, a grabbable object. So let's start by putting some examples geometry into our scene and we'll use those to work with. So let's create uh, just a sphere. A box. And a torus. So we can move these into position. Now we have three objects. Now, okay. to make them grabbable, just put the word moveable in front of the object. So what that allows us to do is if I now go into my scripts under VR menu, we have the ability to show the VR menu. So without having to get into VR, I can go ahead and like look at what my menu will show me ahead of time. So here's the menu, and we'll see that now we have a new button for move. So let's give it a shot. So now I'll enable VR and show you how we've made one object movable. So now I have my hands. If I open up the menu, which is the button there, I can switch over to controllers. And I can see that now I have the move option. When you move enable, the pointer, I can point at objects. But if I point at the sphere, I now can grab it. And wherever I move it, let go, we'll move it. So I can grab it. Move it. So the ability to move objects only, again only works with objects that have been tagged with the movable in the name. So now let's take it one step further. Let's add the movable name to everything. I go to my transform editor, what I want to do is I want to, I now want to set the starting position of all these objects. And I need to create a transform variant. Transform variants are found under when you open up your preferences and you go all the way down to the bottom, there's a transform tab. The transform editor options allows you to have the transform variant settings on. So I'm going to go turn those, turn it to transform variant window plus options, hit apply. See that my transform window not changed. This allows me to set a transform variant for all these objects. And this will be the starting point. What that allows me to do is I can create a variant set and I will name this reset. And I could do this for each object individually but in this instance I'm just going to do them all at once. So I need to go to my transform editor, and that will allow me to grab the variant and pull it in. So I go to the next one. So 
So what this allows me to do is if I move these objects, and then I enable this variant, they all snap down. So now let's go into VR and see how it worked. So open up my menu and move is still active. Let's turn off measurement. Move is still active. So I can grab these objects. And you can rotate them. Now if I open up my menus, I go to my variant set and I have my reset button and snapped everything back to the original position.